Alright, and we still have the keys here. We've already shown you that. Um, show you who's played this before. Oh, and it's reached 600 views. I've actually kind of liked that. I got excited, a little excited about it. So let me show you all the characters on here. There's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, nine on the first page, and two on the second page, but I have to add more. So on the first page we have Negan, who's Max Hotshot's brother, who's right here. And then we have Jay Warp, then we have Tenchi Maru, then we have Rojo, or in the Spanish version, Rojo. Then we have Doom, then we have Yo-Yo, who's the only complete character in the game so far, other than, um... Rojo, who's the only character who has a story mode right now. We have Mizul, who's not in the game yet. We have Quickfeet, who's barely in the game. Negan and Doom are barely in the game. He's not in the game, he's not in the game. But that's Donegan and Fliffle. So, I'm going to start by showing you Rojo's story mode. <coughs> and some additions I added to it. Rojo, a 16-year-old boy, who wants to enter the tournament for his father, who is sick and is in to win the cash. He's the only human in Ninja Dojo and is arch nemesis to Doom, the main antagonist. So, space to start. Welcome all of you to the Ninja Dojo of the year 2105. First battle, Tension vs. Rojo. So, I added a Tension Maru AI. Right now, I'm Rojo. Um, he has an AI. He, he says stuff that aren't complete yet, but it's AI's completely working. He can dodge, he can flip kick, he can do everything that you can basically do when you play as him. So it's actually pretty cool. He can teleport too. And I added um, stuff that they can say when they fight that doesn't interfere with them actually fighting. Well, anyways, you know, he does that, so, um, let's go back in campaign, and I'll show you the actual tension Maru. This is the actual one that you play. No story mode for him yet, but you will fight Rojo, um, when you play him. So, you know, it's a good twist. Um, alright. And, let me show you... Yo yo, no, I don't have to show you. Yo, I'll already show you him. So let's take a quick look at that AI, huh? Okay. So I've had people asking me how the AI is. First of all, Tension Maru has his own, the AI has his own character called Tension Maru AI, right here. Not the same as the Tension Maru you play. So if you have a slow computer, that kind of lags everything out. So let's see. Here's the AI script. Um, when it receives start the battle, basically, it sets its health to 100. It goes to a certain position. Then it tells this to repeat until its health is less than zero. And I'll just go over here. So we have this more blocks that I'd like to call the AI block. You can use it in your game. Uh, it takes something it takes um a random item out of this list this one and does it a number of, of random time number random number of times and here it is so this is the random item from the list and this is the random number of times so if the random item from the list equals jump it will do the jump if it equals dodge it will do the dodge and if it equals attack a blah 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 um it makes it look like it's following Rojo because it, it does it so random and I did it so precise that I actually made it into like actual order. For, first he rests, then he can either attack, he can either attack D, he can he'll do something other than rest itself. He can't rest twice because it's random. So I started with rest and I did attack A, attack S, attack D, attack F. He can jump and dodge. He can move left and right, and I added those two together too. Now, some people are saying, well, what if he gets out of the screen? So, when this is clicked, forever if X position is more than 240, set X to 220. So, it will just if it's more than this, it will go back here. 
and it'll be so fast that you know you can't really see it because it's going to be moving around and if x is less than negative 240 go to negative 220 so it'll be right here in this area you know if he's like that you can go over here and um that's it for the ai it's pretty easy actually it's not a long list and it only took like let's count it only took like one two three four five five scripts inside of um to make an ai so it's not bad and let's add some interaction for rojo so we have his attacks right here which need to be coordinated and I need to add it to everyone else too so things stuff will be easier but right now only he has it since he's the one I'm making he has catchphrases he has his attacks so let's look at the catchphrases first so I can show you how he attacks without um actually dumb interfering with anything he's doing so when the flag is clicked forever if it says his opponent is tension Maru he says nothing he says nothing first you he waits one to ten seconds then he says catchphrases for tension for pig random one to four so then we go over here catchphrases for opponent which is tension Maru for one to four times which is picks randoms this one this one or this one or this one so he'll say tension Maru so I mean, he'll say, take this tension move. He'll say, I have a Zool. I mean, I, well, oh, I never fixed that. He'll say, I hate a Zool. He'll say, Arg, or he'll say, you're good. So, yeah, and then he waits another 5 to 10 seconds. And the attacks are basic. They just jab, and then it redirects it to the jab, which is somewhere over here. There you go. Just save space. Saves a lot of, um, makes more scripts, but it saves more space. And then I have the character slider here. Everybody is asking about the character slider. Slider. I actually took this from a project, which looks nothing like this, which looks nothing like a character slider, but I made it into my own. So, there's offset, and it takes the offset of the X position of this, and subtracts it to, for the, um, mouse X. So, forever it offsets that. And... It just repeats until the mouse is not down. It basically just keep stays with the mouse pointer. Only the X position of the mouse pointer. And, you know, yeah, it hides and everything on stuff. When this is clicked, it sets the page to 1. When um, the flag is clicked. So let's just go over to these people. And this is what it does. It goes forever. It goes to the X position of slider times negative 0 0 0.7 plus 0 times 257. And the next one, it does the same except it does times one, one times two fifty seven. On here it does the same. So oh, here it does the same. It's five times thirty. I had to adjust that because I wanted it to be closer over here. And then the bottom ones were a lot trickier. I had to figure out how I can get it to the Y position. So I found out if I do negative one times two fifty twenty two hundred twenty five. It would work yo yo the same way times negative one times one one ten which would be the x version of him one one ten negative one one ten um and yeah and here's the beginning cutscene right here I made it in um, pivot animator a long time ago and this is before beta so Rojo didn't have any hair and Rojo didn't have any hair. Neither did um Jake Warp. So I'm not adding any hair anytime soon and I'm not taking out the cutscene. So yeah. And let's see. Bat drops. This is really hard to explain. There's so much stuff in here. It basically just manages all the music and all the gameplay and stuff like that. So, yeah. Well, <sighs> yep. Okay. And we have a teen rating here, which just tells what the teen the rating is. And then I have the new, we have the new cutscenes. 
for um Rojo. It's new cutscenes that I showed you. Character bios, which will add more character. I'll add more soon. These character bios, and let's see, credits, which is all just one sprite here. And there you go, yeah. And it switch switches to this backdrop. It switches to this backdrop, which is the credits backdrop. Okay, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys play Ninja Dojo soon. It'll be coming out with 1.6 soon because um, 1.6 will contain until here. 1.6 will have new characters, new attacks, new gameplay. You can play as Mizzou, Donagan, Quick Feet, and more, which I've already added, but I need to add in the gameplay. Use all new uh, combos like Nizul's new gravity attacks or quick feet to blow attacks, which I'm going to add soon. Even more pages to the character list, I might take that out because that's going to be impossible. Starting of the campaign mode, multiplayer beta, and you can check it out a lot in 2014. 1.7 will have new characters, more story mode, epic, arcade mode. Okay. And here's all the updates so far. Ever since July 3rd, first ever update was. Oops. Okay, the first ever update was um, Alpha 0.1, which I added the game. We were just the main menu. 0.3, I added the game cutscene. Uh, there was only actual gameplay on 0.6, which I created sometime around August 1st. And that's where we are now. Also have some Minecraft-like text up here. Changes every single time you press the flag. Or go to the menu. Should have gone to the menu. So I'll show you in a second again. Okay, so let's go to campaign. And pick a random character. The menu changes to scarf punch and we go back yo yo menu boots of the fur campaign right shot, shot, menu scarf punch well it's just two of them scarf punch boots of the fur oh okay bring it on there you go so that's it for this little showing of the game if you want to play it if you don't want to play it on um the scratch website you can just go to stick And just go to stickfight.webs.com. Go here to games, which is this is my website by the way, and click on Ninja Dojo, and you can play it on the website in HD. It's just better than the sprite version, the scratch version. Here you go. You need to play in HD. So, I guess that's it. And be sure to please check out this game I made, which is my first dot bat game. It took me forever to make. Um, so I guess that's it. See you guys later. Oh, and um, New Year's animation coming up. Let me show you. Oops. I'm making a New Year's Day animation for all the fellow animators out there who are watching this video, Clueless open this is photoshop by the way new year special and i'm not going to show you everything in it just going to show you a snapshot of the first scene planning on making it longer than my other animations it's actually pretty good just going to show you like the first couple scenes this this and this and i'm not going to show you anything else so i guess that's it for now I'll see you all later, and peace out, homies, I guess. Keep on crafting your animation stuff. There's my taco.